What's up guys, my name is Alan, and first of all, welcome to today's Wix tutorial. With popular, with popular demand, I've gone ahead and created this video for you guys on how to create a Wix mega menu for your mobile device. That's right, in the past, I've shown you guys how to create Wix mega menus for your desktop and your laptop experience. We've turned out and created some really beautiful mega menus, but in today's example, we're gonna go ahead and use the Wix mobile editor that you guys have and really build out an outstanding mobile experience when users are using the menu. So without further delay, let's go ahead and get started. And remember, if you are wanting me to personally work on your project, you can definitely reach out to me via the Wix.com marketplace. I am available for hire, so if you'd like me to work on your project one-on-one, -on -one, definitely consider reaching out. So without further delay, let's go ahead and get started on building our very own Wix mega menu for our mobile device. First, you'll have to open up your Wix.com editor. So if you haven't already, go ahead, select the website you want to go into and work on, and just hover over Edit Site, and you'll be introduced to your Wix editor for the very first time or the second time, whatever. Uh, in this case, what we want to do is you'll be on the desktop version, so we want to hop over to the mobile version uh, right at the top left-hand corner. So once we have the Wix mobile editor in front of us, what we need to do to work on our Wix mobile menu is to look at the top right hand corner called the mobile menu icon, this little bad boy right here. So generally speaking, to get started with mega menus, you have to understand that we're going to be working within this header. So just temporarily, what I'd like to do is I'd like to just bring this menu all the way down here. And I'd like to let you guys know that this mega menu, this little menu icon, will not actually leave the header portion of your website, okay? So it's always gonna be here at the top right hand corner. Yes, you can move it around. For example, um, you can grab it, move it to the left side, move it in the center. But generally speaking, it's always gonna be found on the right hand side for users. And generally speaking also, the logo will also be on the top left hand corner. So let's go ahead and see the first step of really optimizing this little menu icon on mobile to create your mega menu. So first things, with, first, things first is that if you double click your menu, you'll notice that the current menu that you have will appear right here just as it is. You can also uh, press the escape key on your keyboard or press anywhere, click anywhere, sorry, uh, outside of this editor to close it. So double click to open it, click on the right hand side twice to close it, and this will generally give you a good preview of your mobile. Again, if you click preview actually on the top right hand corner, you can also see how your mobile will look just by going ahead and clicking on the preview button on the top right hand corner. So now that we know that this little icon uh, is how we open our menu and close our menu. Why don't we talk about seeing how we can design what's within the menu and maybe even designing uh, the actual hamburger menu itself. So you have a couple options here such as edit menu, settings, design, and animation. Generally, we don't want to use the animation tab. So if we click on design, you'll notice that the actual icon itself can actually be changed uh, using the design feature right here. So you can go ahead and go through different design options that best fit your um, design. But in this case, I just kind of like the hamburger menu how it is. So if we double click this, you'll notice that the menu um, that you have from your computer version of your website, which is found right here, the actual pages are the same exact pages that users are going to be noticing uh, and viewing on the mobile right here. So what you have on the desktop is going to affect what you actually have in regards to your mega menu on, on the actual mobile. Now, what you can do is the pages on the mobile editor on the top left hand corner um, can also be unique to mobile. So for example, if on the desktop in our menu we have for business, but let's just say for example we don't want it to be called for business or we don't even want to show it on the mobile, you can go ahead and actually hide specific pages on the mobile and show specific pages on the desktop. So it can be unique in that way in which you can show pages on desktop and hide them on mobile. Generally speaking, you wanna go ahead and just show all your pages, but that's the premise here of basic setting up just the pages, okay? So we looked at double clicking to open our menu. We looked at clicking on the design icon to choose different icons, right? And then we also looked at, for example, double clicking the menu and working within our little mega menu uh, option right here, which is the actual uh, menu items. Now, 
we're going to go ahead and go into really creating some advanced menus together so you can definitely fast forward uh, or move forward in this video if you like. So first thing I'd like to do is to basically turn your regular menu into a Wix mega menu which is the brand new Wix um, mobile advanced menu. So to do that you'll notice a little gearbox here and then right beside it you'll notice the edit menu option here. All right. Once you do that you want to go ahead and click on your actual menu and click on the settings tab again. So click on settings and you'll notice a pop-up that will appear says advanced settings. Let's go ahead and set this little menu that we've selected which is right here clicking on the gearbox and let's go ahead and set this as an advanced menu. This is super important because it's going to enable all the tools for us to go ahead and really create an amazing mega menu. Now if you like to just simply change the background that's outside of the mega menu setting. So if you click on this little section here, click on change background, you can go ahead and change the background uh, outside of actually working within your little mega menu here. Okay, So just an FYI, um, changing the background is different than actually working in the menu. And what's really interesting about this menu is on the left hand side where it has the little plus button, you can go ahead and add text, you can go ahead and add images, you can add buttons, you can add decorative items, you can add boxes, you can add social effects, all within this little box here, which is really, really, really cool. So to make this menu, all I really did was just add an image, and I brought the image right down here. So as the user goes ahead and clicks on this menu, they have my menu, they have my image, and they just have a regular uh, beige pink background in the background. I thought that was a great menu, so uh, that was the design I chose, but let's go ahead and create the Wix Mega menu uh, working within the mobile menu itself. So let's click on this, let's click on settings, and finally set as an advanced menu. So let's go ahead and click on set advanced and go ahead and click on set as advanced one more time. Now, here's the really interesting thing that uh, we're now going to discover. You'll notice that this little menu option came up for you guys, okay? I want to go ahead and show you how you can get to this menu every single time in case you exit it out. So first things the first is if you have enabled your mega menu and it vanishes, you can go ahead, double click your mega menu icon, click on your menu itself, and just click on manage menu. Now you have this little toggle that comes up with you every single time. This toggle is going to be very specific to your menu here. For instance, you could not in the past rename your menu items, but here you can rename it. Alan's new menu item. This is really cool because now you can customize every single element within this box. You couldn't do that in the past with our old menu without turning it into a mega menu. So let's go ahead and kind of see what else we can do with this menu. So what I'd like to do is give you some menu options in regards to the designs first before we look at some of the options here. Number one is that if we click out of our little menu box and click on this little item, the, basically the background, you'll notice that there's an option for change the background, which we can change it into a color. We can also change it into an image. We can also choose the transparency, as you can see. But in this case, let's go ahead and click on the layout option, and you'll notice that you can go ahead and have a full screen open menu you can have a left, left side or you can have a right side. This is interesting because what will have to happen is that if you click on this menu, you can choose to make it up to about 90% coverage, 80% coverage, really, really slim. But remember that your menu has to visually look nice also. So it's important to either readjust your menu a little bit smaller. Again, you can, um, so I only say that because some of you have really lengthy menu items. So you can go ahead if it doesn't fit, for example, Alan's new menu, uh, you know, extended and it doesn't fit within this box, then you can just stretch it out to make it a little bit longer. But by doing that, you, you may not fit properly here. So it's important to click on your little menu background, click on layouts, and whether it's on the right side, whether it's on the left side, just make sure that it actually fits within the little um, border that actually appears here. In my honest opinion, I generally like to work with the following. I like to work with full screen and just grab my menu and just really make it fit from left to right. That way I know my users are going to have the best experience for mobile. So if I click on this menu again, move it right here, kind of align it, everything looks much better already. So let's talk about what we can do in here. So first of all, let's go ahead and click on manage menu. 
From here, I'm going to go ahead and just remove all the menu items by clicking the three little dots on every single page and just simply hiding from the menu. I'm going to hide, I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove this so we can do this for the first time together. You can go ahead and create a completely unique menu and I, I think again, as you can see, as we were making beautiful desktop experiences, I would really like to kind of bring this up to par. So let's go ahead and hide this. So right now, all I have is a mobile menu that has for home. I could double click this menu and bring this up. Instead of for home, I could just call it welcome or I could just call it home. I can do lowercase, uppercase, it doesn't matter. From here, you notice that we have on the left hand side the menu toggle. You can see it all right here. Instead, what we really want to do is click on manage menu and work within this module. From here, I'm going to go ahead and use this blue icon called the add menu item. So when I click on here, I'm going to have some really interesting effects. I can go ahead and click on adding a standard page, such as Alan's new menu, maybe student movers, senior movers, and press apply. Then it adds my menus automatically here. Now, what if I wanted to have something tucked in underneath it, such as a drop down menu? Well, in that case, I would go ahead and click on the add menu one more time and I would go ahead and add something here called a submenu title. So you can see that this is a submenu title. We'll call it our drop down menu. Menu. And you'll notice that the icon changes a little differently than the icons that are found here and the icon that's the home icon. So now I can grab any of my current pages and just tuck it right underneath this little menu. And you'll notice that bam, it now falls underneath it. And I believe the latest update allows me to actually have three different dropdowns. So if I keep adding my pages underneath each other, I can go ahead and create a really, really beautiful dropdown. I can have multiple dropdowns. So for example, if I go ahead and click on adding a brand new sub item, I'd say new dropdown, new dropdown menu. And then I can go ahead and add page and simply add another one and simply tuck it in underneath here. A really great example of drop down menus would be the following companies that have locations. If you have multiple locations or multiple products, then you can go ahead and add something called a sub menu drop down and call this products. And you can have a brand new menu called um, locations. And then from here, you can go ahead and add your pages. Location A, location B will fall under locations, fall under locations. And then likewise with your products, you can add product, cal product pages to those drop downs. So basically, other than coloring, so if I went here, I went here and made this way, I think it's looking pretty good already, don't you think? And then if you go to preview on the top right hand corner, you can quickly just see exactly how your menu is gonna appear. You can go ahead and choose the styling of your um, lettering, such as your font, by clicking on this, clicking on the design, and just choosing the text font. So if I wanted to change the font to medium, there it is. If I scroll down and change it in regards to the submenu, I have basically full range of really creating a beautiful menu. Remember, I could go ahead and do the following. I could do this. I could add a decorative item. I could add a beautiful line maybe right here. I can burn it down and I could add some text. And this text could say, for example, burn this down to here and make it a little bit smaller to 15 and do the following. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Point being is that I can throw any type of content right within my mobile menu. So again, creating a complete mega menu experience is pretty much, I would say, the same as the mega menu, other than the fact that we don't really have a lot of room. So I have a video in regards to teaching you how to build a mega menu on Wix, but in today's video, it's just going a little further than what you currently have on your current menu. You can add images to your menu, you can add text to your menu, you can slim down your menu, and if you'd like to personally reach out to me, I could potentially even help you create a really interesting custom user experience for your company or for your brand, okay? So hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, I've seen some really interesting menus in the past. Would love for you guys to share your examples with me, but this is how you basically work within the menu, and that's simply double-clicking here, clicking on the settings, 
and enabling mega menu so that you have just a little bit more options to play with uh, in regards to your menu. All right, guys, so hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, and this is how to create a Wix mega menu for your mobile Wix website. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, definitely consider subscribing. It helps me out so much. Thank you.